not the ending that you guys would have wanted, but as far as what you noticed with how they maybe turned up the intensity in the second half, what, what were your observations on that? Uh, you know, they did turn up their intensity. Um, I thought we turned up our intensity as well. Um, but, you know, they had some tough shot makers over there. They had some tough shots, made some, made some plays down the stretch. It, I don't think there was anything um, specifically that I can point to, to where they were just exposing us on. Um, good team makes plays, and uh, they did that down the stretch. And, um, you know, it's tough. And Quinn has talked a lot about you guys being the best version of yourselves, and he said that it carried through from the regular season when he took over through the postseason. Just how do you feel like you guys have maybe become the better version of yourself since the start of the year? Yeah, you know, everybody wants instant results, uh, but it takes time. You know, we, we added a lot uh, into our rotation, into our roster. Obviously, we're extremely talented um, and young as well, so uh, it's not as easy as it might look on paper, but uh, we do our best to to com compete, and um, I do my best as a leader to try to help improve myself and guys where I can, as well as you know, coach and, and the entire team. We I feel like we have an ecosystem that that wants to get better. Um, you know what I mean? And it, t it takes time; it's not an overnight thing. And you being a leader for this team, like, what do you say after a loss like this? You guys just fought. I mean, 22 lead changes. It was a phenomenal game to watch, not the result you wanted. But what do you say to the guys in the locker room after a loss like this? You know, I just try to be myself. I try to laugh and joke, um, put put a smile on guys' faces regardless because, you know, we, uh, um, we're blessed at the end of the day, you know, uh, outside of this, this job and, and the relationships we have. Um, they, mean, they mean a lot to me. So uh, I do my best to... Um, try to just continue to spread positive energy as, in, in, in as many ways as I can. And uh, that's, that's all I really did. And after, I mean, a series like this, too, I know it's kind of hard to digest it all at once, but with the way you guys fought tonight, like how much confidence does that give you in this group for next season, you know, to build off of something like that? Yeah, it gives us confidence for sure. I feel like it just solidifies what, you know, what we knew we could do. Um, obviously, we fell short of what we want, that, that, that Larry O'Brien trophy. Um, but we, we know that, you know, we're built for this and uh, we're going to be more ready the next time. I'm just curious, though, how you sum up the whole year, kind of back and forth, right around 500 for much of the year. And then at the end here, you're pushing the Celtics, you know, right to the edge. How do you sum up the whole season? It's tough, you know what I mean? Ups and downs. Um, I feel like you guys understand that in the middle is the toughest place to be. You know, when you're up super high or down super low, you have a, a clearer vision of what you want to accomplish when you're just maintaining in that middle. Um, it takes a little bit more uh, self-reflection to just keep going. And uh, it's not easy winning the game, losing the game, winning the game, losing the game, up, down, up, down. It's hard. It's, it's hard on your, our mental, but uh, again, to the credit of our talent on our team and, and the will to win and to get better, uh, we just try to push through and um, play good basketball. Thanks, Appreciate it, y'all.